Patrick and Patrick Cinemas again. I'm here doing the uh, Steve Punk event uh, video blog. And uh, my friend Byron over here just asked me, well, you know, before I start recording, what should I do? And I says, whatever comes to your mind. What is that thing? Why is it? Why are you? What, uh, what is this thing you're pointing? It's magic. At? It's witchcraft. What are you attempting it's, to do? It's from the future. No, I don't want the future. I want the past. It's so much more pleasant back then. Library computer, data being received. sandwich together. The chair was handmade to fit all the uh, wiring, equipment, batteries, all the wood drives. Steel conduit on the sides with PVC conduit on the end. Console is a 10 inch PVC pipe with a globe that was cut, a 12 inch diameter globe that was cut in half and then central. The lights are nothing more than uh, room service ketchup bottles from your local hotel. They sit on top of a modified cigar box. The key does, that goes forward and backward through time, does actually turn off the lights. It's a mono stereo plug, just completes the circuit. And it all sits on top of a medical scooter that drives around. You are brilliant, brilliant. But do tell me it really does travel through time. Oh yes, of course. Time and space. You're, you're, you're a genius. Thank you. Great work. Thank you very much. Hey, it's Patrick of Patrick Cinemas, and I'm over here video blogging the biggest steampunk event in Mount Dora, Florida. It's one of the largest ones in Florida, and I love it, and I come here every year. And I'm at beautiful Renninger's right now. It is open on the weekends, but there is one antique shop that's open all week, and it's called Time Bandits. And they come to the steampunk shows all the time, and they have a fantastic store right on 441. But now I just got the news that they're selling it and they're going to be doing events. We're going to be traveling the circuit. We're going to become gypsies. Oh, that sounds like fun. Tell us about like what you expect, to, what do you, what do you expect out of it. What do you, uh... I don't expect anything. I'm just going to go from show to show. We're going to see what happens. So I just throw it on the wall and see what sticks. But you're going to have a lot of fun. Oh, it's all about the fun. <laughs> How about you? No, I'm just going to watch these uh, he, he's just going to tag along and, you know, he, he, he's going to make the coffee. So anyway, as I was saying, the uh, the Time Bandit store, this is Denise. Hey! Right? She is giving it the key the key to this guy right over here. Introduce yourself. I'm actually buying it. It's George. <laughs> Hi, George. So you guys okay. better come and see him now. You know, like I said, Renegers is one of the most amazing places in all of Central Florida for antiques. 
Saturdays and Sundays is open, but all week long, Time Bandits is yes. open right on 441. You can't miss it. You drive right by it. That's the spot where everybody slows down to about 35 miles an hour and goes back to 60 miles an hour on 441. So you can't miss it. Come and see us. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. In the meantime, they're, they're over here at the uh, steampunk event, making, just adding more beauty to the place and fantastic stuff and vintage things. And let me give you a tour. I love this stuff. I love. I live for this stuff. Live for it. Look at all the vintage gears I got here. These are all real deal, antique and vintage brass gears from clocks. Look at all the cool stuff in this place. I just want to collect more and more. Look at this old TV. I think all of you guys by now know how much I love trains. My favorite, favorite transportation. Hey, let's see what's going on in the stage area right here at the steampunk event. In this instance, yeah, in this instance, snub beats twirl. <laughs> All right, very nice. So, everybody, a round of applause. Right here. Yeah, this is Callum over here. This, this is, is a reasonable time. This is the break. magical Callum. This is our dear, dear, dear child Oliver. He is 47 years old. Look at him. This is Simarine. Simarine, say hello. This is the mysterious Mercury and popping out. This, of course, is Malada, our darling Malada. And over here, the amazing Cog is dead. Back for the first time in about a year, ladies and gentlemen. The Cog is dead. Oh, let me let me show the audience. Let me show the audience. Enjoy. Of course, it's a ridiculous machine. Hi, I'll just jump in a little bit. I love it. I love it here. I love it. It's just awesome. Awesome. device in the world. It's a telegraph. Thank you. 
to our top five then. Ladies and gentlemen, the top five. A round of applause for all our contestants right now. Bravo. All right, so now we have to vote for the top three. We do it the same way. This is very important, ladies and gentlemen, that you be very specific. And all the other contestants, you can vote in this as well. Okay, Rafe, Maleda, Oliver, I want you to consider that most of them are holding guns. <laughs> yes, you need to pick the top three, and this is how we do it. You will present the third place winner first, the second place winner, and we will finish with the first place winner. Chop the nails right off your hands, won't it, folks? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, Lucifer, it will. Well, I'm just smoking over there. I'll see you later, love. <laughs> All right, we're ready. You're ready? Are you sure? Yes. This can get very dangerous. That's why I set you up there, Rafe. All right. So, Rafe, bring forward the third place winner, please. of truth. The first place winner, Rafe. Yep. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for every single person in costume and they are all winners. If I can have the first, second, and third place winners, come meet me over here at the stage. I have your prizes. Something looks important here. Excuse me. Am I interrupting something? No, not at all. Do you have the time? Do I have the time? Patrick at Patrick Cinemas, the steampunk event. Check this out. Now, I heard a rumor that some of these uh, steampunk devices are so sophisticated, made by true geniuses, that you can change a metal to another metal? Well, that's, I don't know about the genius aspect of it, but it is an alchemy machine, and its purpose is to turn lead into gold. So we'll set that on lead. That's where we start. Oh, and uh, then this ring. We'll bring the layer around. So when I drop this lead ball in that chute, and then bring it around, and then you'll see it drop into this other funnel the second time around. Okay, there it went into the tank, and that's where the aretha gas does its magic. Now, I don't have these switches on timers, so I have to do this manually. So I'll count, turn this one on, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Okay? If that light comes up red, which it did, then I turn this to gold, and it deposits the... Right there you have it. Gold. It's amazing. I didn't know it gold. Think of beauty, think of beauty, awesome. Thank you. Thank you.